Hi everyone, this is Jess with Coach Up. Today we're going to be doing some upper body stretches. Start, we'll be in child's pose. In child's pose, your big toes are touching. You can take your knees as wide out to the edges of your mat or your floor or carpet as you'd like and walk your hands all the way forward, sinking your hips back to your heels and resting your head on the mat. You can walk your fingertips over to one side of the mat, take them over to the left side, placing your right hand on top of the left to get a nice stretch all the way through your side body. And hands can walk over to the other side, sinking your opposite hip back to the heel to feel that stretch a little bit stronger. Hands flow through center. If you come up onto tended fingertips, you get a really nice stretch up and down your arms and your shoulders. You walk your hands back and come to tabletop pose with your shoulders directly over your wrists, your knees directly under your hips. You can take some cat and cow poses to loosen up your upper back. Get a really nice stretch. On your inhales, your belly button drops down, your gaze goes up. And on your exhales, round your spine, head drops down and meeting in tabletop. We'll thread the needle, so on an inhale, bring your arm up into the air and swing it through all the way underneath your arm that's on the mat, perhaps reaching out your opposite arm. And we'll take that on the other side, inhaling your arm up into the sky, swinging it through taking the variation to reach your opposite arm out to the front corner of your mat, or perhaps bringing it around for a half bind. Feeling a nice opening in your shoulders and upper back here. And you can unwind. We'll cut, come to a comfortable seat. So you can either sit on a yoga block on a pillow or just on your heels if that's okay. And to start, we'll take Archer's arms. So you can take one arm into the air, one out to the side, bend at the elbow, and clasp onto your hands or to your shirt. I'll show you the view from the back. So either you're grabbing onto a piece of clothing, or if you have the flexibility, you can grab onto your hands here. Working your one elbow up to the ceiling and one down to the ground. Everybody's skeleton is different, so if you're not there perfectly, that's quite all right. Taking the opposite side here, again, grabbing a hold of your hands or your clothes or anything that you can grab a hold of here. And gently releasing that. From a seat, we'll also take eagle arms. So start, one arm swings under the other, so I just took my left arm, swung it under the right, and if you can do the double bind here, that's great. If your arms don't go that way, if your skeleton doesn't flex that way, perhaps you take arms here or the I Dream of Genie arms. Wherever you are, you're working your elbows up and away from your face. What this does is this takes a really nice opening in your back. A lot of us sit at computers all day and are perhaps hunched over. So this pulls our shoulder blades apart and feels really nice. From here, take one last series in Prasarita. So taking your feet wider than hips width apart. Clasp your hands to the base of your spine. Take a chest opener here and fold forward, letting your hands drop behind your head. Another variation here is to take opposite hand to opposite foot for a nice twist. Again, switching sides here. 
And finally, you can heel toe your feet back in a little bit, bend your knees, place your hands on your knees, and slowly drop into one shoulder center in the next, alternating sides. And that is stretching your upper body.